Hello and welcome to our virtual showcase. In this presentation, we will be discussing an exciting new project that we've developed for Sarah Redford High School that aims to improve socio-cultural connections among Year 7 students via a cultural showcase. But before we get into it, we would like to introduce ourselves. My name is Mayara Ibrahim and I'm an English history teacher. I'm Cameron Rogers and my key learning areas are PDHPE and science. I'm Nicholas Walker and my KLAs are history and English. I'm Nilani and my um, KLA is English. I'm Bianca Fazio and I am an English teacher and a society and culture teacher. So Cameron, can you just start us off uh, with a bit of background information about the school and what we are trying to achieve with our project? Of course. So what we are trying to achieve with our project is improving ethical understandings at Sarah Redburn High School by giving Year 7 students an opportunity to experience other cultures. And why is this important? Well, ethical understandings involve students building a strong personal and socially orientated ethical outlook that helps them to manage context, conflict and uncertainty and to develop an awareness of the influence that their values and behaviour have on others. That's great. And how are we going to actually achieve this? We're going to be utilising the KLAs of English, PDHPE and Science, whereby a once a fortnight period will be specifically allocated to give students an opportunity to embrace culture that would otherwise be overlooked in regular face-to-face -face learning. For example, in PDHPE, we'll be using Samoan dancing, English Aboriginal yarn circles and in Science, Australian experiments. Students will be broken up into three groups and these three groups will alternate to give all students an opportunity to experience a different culture. At the end of the term, a cultural showcase and assembly uh, will be presented as well as a cultural wall to display all the students' achievements. And what are we using to guide us? And also just give us a bit more information about the school itself. No worries. Okay, so what we're gonna to use to guide us is a lot of peer reviewed literature. And we'll also be using the multicultural education document as outlined by the Department of Education. So Sarah Redford High School is a government high school in Minto, which is about 45 minutes southwest of Sydney CBD. Sarah Redfern High School has 850 students, 64% of which are a language background other than English. Within the student population, we have 60% of students identifying from Pacific Islander backgrounds and 9% of Aboriginal descent. Sarah Redfern High School has over 50% of its students in the lower quartile of socioeconomic context, which explains why this project is so important. Yada, can you explain the goal of our action research project? Of course. So the overarching goal of our project is to enhance sociocultural connections among Year 7 students through the development of a cultural showcase. Our project aims to provide a channel for the school community to celebrate cultural diversity and foster inclusiveness, which we all believe is extremely important as it will help students acquire the skill of ethical understanding. Our vision is to engage Year 7 students in a meaningful and collaborative experience which involves them learning about and engaging with diverse cultures in ways that recognise commonalities and differences, creates connections with others and cultivates mutual respect. This will help to develop students' understanding and empathising, which we all agree are important elements of social and intercultural competence. Overall, we propose to develop a cultural showcase as a vehicle for meaningful school engagement and student learning. As at the completion of the project, students will be afforded an opportunity to host a whole school assembly in which they can proudly showcase their cultural learning experiences to the school. So Nick, can you take us through the type of intervention that we'll be undertaking in our project? The type of intervention that we will be undertaking is actively engaging the students in the understanding of various cultures and beliefs, which will help make our school and society a more multicultural place. This program intervention will span the term and is proactive, as the program is dealing with the multi-layered problems that surround cultures and beliefs, with the hope that through this program it will help stop issues arising. Through our program using intentional intervention and specifically targeting the needs and wants of the staff and the students, this will help encourage multiculturalism. Through the participation in multicultural education, this in turn empowers the, student, the school's culture and social structure. Multicultural education is an idea of educational reform, as well as a method to continue to improve the awareness of cultures. This education program will be implemented through the use of a proactive and intentional intervention styles that will allow for students and staff to engage in the cultures that are most prominent within the school. 
This program will allow students and staff to engage in various cultures and beliefs in a sensitive manner. Great, Bianca, can you explain how we intend to measure improvements and outcomes? I absolutely can. Okay, so we're going to be measuring improvements of socio-cultural connections across the school at multiple levels. The first will be via comparison of the results from the pre-survey conducted in the first week of our timeline to the results of the post-survey conducted in week nine. These two surveys will help us to see the level that we're starting at, helping us to set goals for where we want to be by the end. Then the post-survey, the comparison of the initial survey results will give us an indication of what the students have learned over the course of the term will also help to provide insight as to what helped inform them and shape their knowledge of cultural diversity and the diversity specifically within their school. Improvement will also be measured via observation from staff on any changes in the behaviour of students, such as an increase of empathy or an effort to recognise bias. As this is to be an annual event within the school, improvement continue, can continue to be measured in each instance it occurs and changes can be made to suit the required needs of that particular year. By taking an approach to involve the students in identifying these problems, recognizing where knowledge and understanding needs to be supplemented, and having students voice their opinions on where improvements lie, this creates a reciprocal education, which helps to improve the understanding between the teachers implementing this action research process and the students who are a part of this process, which is a key element of action research. Perfect. Nilani, can you just give us a breakdown of the timeline for this project and how it actually aims to develop a cycle of continuous improvement? Yep, so the timeline of this project will run across term one and conclude on Cultural Diversity Week. Across the term, each KLA participating will promote cultural diversity to increase students' cultural awareness. This is not compulsory, so that your seven students will choose to participate in this during one period of fortnight. This outlines the project schedule for the implementation of the Cultural Diversity Program at Sarah Rutherford High School. Our team has considerably placed the start of the program at the start of Term 1 to help students, um, to help year 7 students with the transition into high school. The program also concludes during um, Harmony Day. We have spaced out the program allocated periods occurring on a fortnightly basis to allow, to allow some time um, to create the units of work and analyze the effectiveness of formative assessment, pre and post surveys and report results, findings and recommendations to Sarah Redfin High School. So this project aims to develop a cycle of continuous improvement by first challenging um, expanding students' beliefs and values regarding other cultures and ultimately encourages inclusivity and high cultural awareness amongst the students. The project aims to increase students and, and teachers' understanding, understandings of cultural diversity issues and promote cultural cohesion. The pre-test and post-test results will help evaluate the effectiveness of the project in developing student and teacher understandings and knowledge of cultural diversity. The pre-test would outline the short-term goals of the um, project um, for the current term and the post-test will help determine the long-term goals to improve the project. This project, once implemented, can occur annually and um, since the aim of the project is to occur annually with the new year seven students, the goal and outcomes of this project will continuously evolve and improve. So this will give room for new ideas and um, reflection on the project's effectiveness and continue to improve and achieve um, more outcomes. With 64% of the school students having a language background other than English and 9% Indigenous students, this program will um, encourage inclusivity and vibrant participation of diverse cultures. Addressing the findings of the project at the school um, meeting will allow the school to assess their performance as a whole school and evaluate existing school improvement strategies and efforts for their impact and effectiveness. This will also allow teachers to identify and diagnose any areas that need attention in the classroom. So um, the school self-evaluation will ensure continuous improve, improvement by identifying the project's progress, achievement, and areas that require improvement. This annual reporting will also inform parents and the community, community about the performance outcomes and, improve, and improvement of student achievement. The report will um, outline the effectiveness of the project and identify future directions for improvement. Great. Thanks for that. Well, that's it from us. We hope you've enjoyed our virtual showcase. We look forward to improving socio-cultural connections at Sarah Redfern High School. Thanks for watching.